The year is 1770, the place is the Habsburg Empire, and this guy is Wolfgang von Kempelen. He wanted to entertain the Empress, Maria Theresa, so he built the world's first advanced chess playing machine. An intricate mechanism of cogs and gears combined with top-of-the-line 18th century detection hardware allowed this machine, called the Turk, to play chess and exceptionally well at that. It kept beating the vast majority of its human opponents for almost a century, until a fire ravaged the museum where it was kept. Except it was fake. It just had a guy who played chess really well inside. Anyways, with the Empress impressed that the Turk worked, and no one knowing that the attraction was a contraption of deception, Kempelen's sly satisfaction saw a swift shift in his scheming selection. He was done, even annoyed by the machine's enormous popularity. He wanted to move on and spend more time working on a different project, which turned out to be one of the world's first speech synthesizers, which, insanely enough, was real. While the Turk only took six months to construct, his speaking machine consumed him for the next 20 years. His first design employed a kitchen bellows used to stoke fires as the source of airflow. A backpipe reed was implemented as the glottis, the source of sound. The bell of a clarinet made for a sufficient mouth, allowing for modulation to create some different vowels. It couldn't do much more than that though, so he moved on to a new design. This one was more elaborate, with keys for various letters, and could produce most vowels and even some consonants like p or m. It was better, but he still had a ways to go. For his third and final design, he went back to the vocal tract inspired one. This time, he added a throat with a nasal cavity and a mechanism to pronounce s, sh, r, and b sounds. It couldn't pronounce everything, but it could speak French, Italian, English, and even German if the operator was skilled enough. Shortly after presenting it, he died, but not before publishing a 456-page book where he described, in excruciating detail, his 20 years of phonetics research. It was called Mechanismus der menschlichen Sprache nebst Beschreibung einer sprechenden Maschine, also known as a fucking mouthful. Kempelen's work was very important to early speech synthesis and the science of phonetics as a whole. And now you know the truth about him. Thanks for watching this episode of Minute Linguistics. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any thoughts, corrections, or ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.